We are continuing to follow that breaking news. An Illinois state trooper dead following a shooting on a busy expressway during afternoon rush hour. Earlier, there was a procession from the hospital to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Support and solidarity shown as officers pay their respects to the fallen trooper. It happened at 43rd Street on the Dan Ryan Skycam 9 has been over the scene for a good part of the day and back now live there at the inbound lanes and within the last few minutes we have just learned and you can see it for yourself here that that traffic is once again flowing again in the inbound lanes after being closed for many hours today and we do have live team coverage for you. We begin with Jenna Barnes live near the Dan Ryan where the shooting happened. Jenna. Yeah, Ray, we're standing on that 43rd Street overpass over the Dan Ryan and minutes ago the in Inbound lanes did reopen about 15 minutes ago. We saw a tow truck leave with that troopers SUV in the scene. Quickly after that, we want to show you some video of that tow truck leaving with the SUV. Troopers spent about four hours this afternoon focusing their investigation on that vehicle, which was for a long time parked up on the barrier between the inbound local lanes and the express lanes. Illinois State tell us a trooper this afternoon around. 145 and taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center in what was initially reported as critical condition, but he did not survive. State police have not yet provided any details about the circumstances of that shooting, what may have led up to it, but a community activist who arrived here moments after it happened tells us he captured on video other officers taking that injured trooper to the hospital before an ambulance could even get here. I started filming it so we could have footage. And then I noticed another um, state trooper car, I mean, an unmarked car pull up real fast. Then maybe six or seven police officers grabbed them, looked like they had them in some kind of um, tourniquet or a rug or something. And they transformed them out of the state trooper car into an unmarked car and then rushed away from the scene. So they Again, all of the inbound lanes on the Dan Ryan have reopened here as state police wrap up their investigation out here. We're still waiting to learn more from them about what led up to the shooting. And as soon as we do, we will let you know. For now, we're live along the Dan Ryan. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. All right, Jenna, as you said, the trooper was initially taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center. WGN's Jewel Hillary is there now. She joins us live. Jewel. Hi, good evening. As we work to find out more information about this trooper who was shot along the Dan Ryan and 43rd Street, uh, we are still awaiting details. However, as you mentioned, we are live outside of the University of Chicago Medical Center, right outside of the emergency room where this trooper was taken this afternoon. And uh, while most of the scene has cleared, I want to uh, take a step out of the shot so that you can see there is still a bit um, of activity out here with Chicago police and some state troops. Uh, we've seen them focusing on this black unmarked SUV right outside of the emergency room. Right now we're waiting on confirmation to see if this is the vehicle the trooper was rushed to the hospital in. Now just a while ago off camera I was able to speak to the troopers family who as you can imagine is quite upset over this afternoon's tragic outcome. Now of course as we learn more details about the trooper and this investigation we will bring those details to you. For now reporting live outside of of the University of Chicago. I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Well, thank you and stay with WGN News for